Hello YouTube, my name is Coco. I'm a videographer based in Lagos, Nigeria, and you're welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be taking you guys through one of my favorite plugins called The Answer. The Answer is one of my favorite plugins or go-to plugin whenever I want to create film emulations on any editing software I'm working with, either DaVinci or Premiere Pro and the likes. I've been using The Answer for a couple of months now, I think about two, three months. If you are into films, into documentaries, it's just simply the best. I've used it for a music video and it's easy to use, like really, really easy. Because once you get hold of the plugin, everything is self-explanatory. You just play around with it and you get used to it. So I'm going to be leaving a link to the website in my description below where you can get the Deancer plugins and when you want to purchase a plugin, all you have to do is just use my promo code COCO and when you use my promo code, you get a 10% discount on the plugin. Don't forget, use my promo code COCO. So without wasting much of your time, let's jump right into that video itself. Okay, I'm going to create three nodes. So on my last node, I'm going to I'm going to rename it Deancer because that's where I'm applying my Deancer plugin. Then this is where I will be doing my color balance. And also on my first node, uh, primary balance. So let's okay head over to our last node and come to the answer. So when you apply the answer for the first time, this is how it comes up. So don't be scared, it's a pretty simple plugin to use. You'll be amazed at what you can do with this plugin so come down to options and disable all tools so it gives us our original footage back now what we are going to do come to the input first and choose camera so i shot this footage with the sony camera so we are going to select our camera so since i shot with the sony i'm going to select sony then a74 because that's why i shot this footage with and my color space was s gam 3 scene so don't be scared about the whole way it's looking now because we can work on it and make it look better. So what we are going to do first, this is your exposure, temperature, tint, the fringe, the fringe radius and all that. But I usually don't touch these things because I've already created a special note for my color balance and my primary balance. So what I do, I just come over to this place, my film, enable it and select the film I want. This is the film I'm going to be working with. So you can actually push or pull depending on how you decide you want your just play around with it anyway so that you know what you're doing now let's come to the film developer what this film developer does is it helps boost your contrast it helps to boost your contrast and make your basic uh, corrections but then i'm not touching this because of my primary balance and my uh, balance node i've made here or better still i can decide okay let's just see what it does let's add a little bit of contrast and let's see what this color separation does can boost the colors or take out colors for me i'm just going to leave that the way it is so your film compression what your film compression does is it affects your highlight i don't know if you can see if you can see it uh, while I'm moving this slider, you can see my highlight and see what it's doing to my highlight. But I don't need this, so I'm going to disable it. So this one, basically your black and white points in your video. I'm not touching that either. So I want this to come out in Kodak 2383. Enable. So this is it. Now let's come to our, our balance and I'm going to erase my shadows. Then bring down my highlights. I'm going to increase the gamma, bring down the highlight a bit, and okay. So I'm still going to raise my shadows up and add a little bit of contrast. My shadows are too much. Okay. Okay, I think somewhere around here is fine. So my primary balance. Okay. I think somewhere around here is fine. 
All right, so let's come back to the answer. And so for your color head, when you enable color head, this is what it does. You can actually move your yellow or your blue your blue slider, your magenta, your green slider, your cyan or your red slider. So I'm going to disable all that. Or you can gang all together and just move it. You can just move it. So moving over to your shadow tone, your mid tones, your highlight tones. What this place does is it takes the dominant color that you've made. Let's say unlink the gang now and we are moving towards the yellow. So when you are when you are working on your shadow tones, it works on the yellows yellows in your video but that's not what we are doing so okay somewhere around here is fine then uh let's see for the mid zones good let's take it away from the highlighted bits all right so now film green I'm going to add a little bit of film green and leave it somewhere around here reduce the amount that has been added then I'm going to enable elation so yeah amplify or yeah I think somewhere around here is fine then I'm going to enable bloom okay so somewhere here feels okay if my relation i think i'm going to put it 16. okay so now film damage film damage i don't know if you not if once you enable film damage you notice these um dots and scratches that will be moving around your your, your screen so that's what that effect does then head over to overscan no for gate weave just basically makes your video look jumpy and all that but I don't think I'll be needing that on this particular clip okay let's just leave it enabled then uh, let's head over to overscan so enable overscan this is what overscan does gives that retro 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 um, border I don't know I don't know sorry all those um film look border and you can select anyone you want standard form Super 16, uh, ultra wide, wide screen 35. So, but I'm, I don't think I don't think I need this. So I'm going to be leaving it on. Then I'm going to enable vignette, so I can reduce my exposure a bit. So for monitor, you can turn on your first color, output, then your loot generator. This way you can generate. Maybe you like this particular look that you've created. You want to make it a lot. So you can actually generate your lots from here. Then these are your options. So this is the look we created just now using the answer. So I can show you a couple of videos that I made using the answer. So this is a music video I created using the answer. So tell me what you think about this color and if you would love to have the answer software as one of your go-to plugins for film look. So also let me know in the comment section below. So guys, here's another video I made using the Dehancer Pro plugin and I don't know if you can see the look. So I'm going to show you guys how I came up with this look. Before you use the Dehancer Pro plugin, always have the kind of look you are going for so it, it makes your work very easy and smooth. Now let's go through the way I created this look. So I created my three notes as usual, I applied my Dehancer to my last note. So in my inputs, Sony A74, S-Log3, s gamma 3 sign because I, I shot this video using my Sony Alpha 4. So I usually do not touch my exposure like I said earlier because I, I have my other two notes created for adjustment because it helps me to actually adjust the way i want and the flexibility so i'm using the kodak gold 200 or a uh, film look on this particular clip added a, a contrast boost increased my gamma correction color separation and color boost a bit so 
So I came down here to my print using the Kodak 2383 print film. I adjusted my whites and my exposure and what else? I think I reduced the contrast a, a little bit because it was a, it was so contrasty. Then I came down to my color head and I I, I, I pushed the slider towards the yellow. Then added a little bit of green and a little bit of uh, and a little bit of cyan. Added a little bit of green and red. Then down to my shadows, I corrected the the shadow tones. Added some yellows to the shadows. Removed some yellows from the mid tones and added yellows to the highlights. I added my film green, elation and blue. Then I came down to my vignette and did a little bit of I don't know if you can see it. So basically, that's what I did. Oh, sorry, I missed one. So I adjusted. I used my other notes to adjust my color. My color balance. I pushed the temperature towards the warm, to warm side to sell off my gold look more. Then I adjusted my shadows and my highlights and my gamma. So this is the final look that I got using the enhancer plugin. So tell me what you think, guys. There are so many ways you can use the Dehancer plugin, so just play around with it and find what works best for you, depending on the scenario. You can use it without the color space transform, you can use it with your color space transform. You can just pick an effect from the Dehancer, from the list of effects in the answer in the plugin and use, or you can basically just create a whole look from scratch using the Dehancer. So if you are in need of the plugin and you want, you want to try the Dehancer plugin, all you have to do is visit their website at www.dehancer.com So when you're in the website, you can select which of the Dehancer plugins you would like to use. I think they have other plugins also. So you can buy the Dehancer Pro and check any of their and check out any of their prices and which one is more convenient for you. And don't forget to use my promo code KOKO COCO to get a 10% discount when you purchase the answer. And we have come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you were able to get something from it. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment in the comment section. Also, please don't forget to subscribe, share my videos. I'll be dropping more content as soon as possible on my channel. Please leave a comment. And also don't forget to use my promo code COCO to get a 10% discount when you purchase the answer. Thank you.